Ariana, thank you so much. A lot of people were wanting to see that photo and just knowing where thank this you. case stood here mm -hmm. uh, with him. Thank you so much. It was this time yesterday we were talking about students who were inside the school frantically trying to get a hold of a loved one, maybe reach their parents by text. The first alerts of the shooting were happening inside the school out to the parents. And one mom actually shared that moment with us. It kind of makes your heart drop. Take a look at this series of text messages between Aaron Clark and her son Ethan, who was a senior there. She was at work when she got this message. School shooting. I'm scared. Please. I'm not joking. I love you. That mom responded quickly saying I'm leaving work. Her son says he heard about eight or nine gunshots before he closed his classroom door and moved chairs and tables to block the door. She was returned and reunited with her son on the football field. We want to show you another perspective from inside the school. This is video taken as officers were walking students out of the building. It's a procedure. They asked them to show their hands up in a situation like this. This was after about an hour of kids locked inside classrooms waiting for officers to give that all clear that the threat was over. Classes are canceled for the rest of the week at Appalachia High School needed time for students and staff and the district is offering grief counselors to those who need some extra support. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates is live at the high school for us right now. Bo Beth, a hard day. People coming by to pay their respects and share their love there at the school. Yeah, it's been a tough time. The mood continues to be somber here at Appalachia High School. Now, periodically, we've seen people come by and lay flowers and other items at the school's front sign. And we also caught up with a student and a mom who describes the horrific moments of this incident, moments that are now etched in their minds forever. The smell of gunpowder, it was just like, there was powder all over the floor. It was so smoky in the halls. Appalachia High School 10th grade student Ariel Bolin says the horrifying images of when the accused gunman opened fire inside her school continues to play out in her mind. It occurred like right outside of my room. So just like seeing blood everywhere and the smell of gunpowder is just really traumatic. I've just been trying to get my mind off stuff and just not think about it, but like the gunshots and like the smell of everything is just like clouding in my brain. According to the GBI around 10 20 Wednesday morning, the Borough County Sheriff's Office received alerts of an active shooter. Ariel was exiting her classroom when the shots were fired. She quickly ran back in, took cover and called her mom. At first I was thinking she was kidding or she just wanted to leave school, but then I heard the gunshots, five gunshots, and then I screamed Ariel and looked at my phone and it was dead. She was not there. I couldn't I couldn't even figure out how to call her back. I was so scared. The next 30 minutes were terrifying for Ariel's mom, Tabitha Massey, who began making her way to the school. They stopped us and wouldn't let us go anywhere, but I did get the text that mom, I'm fine. And that text, that text message was the best text message I, I ever saw. Ariel was OK, but two teachers and two students did not make it out alive. I just wish this on nobody. And it's horrible to think that just a normal day at school can become so heartbreaking to other people. And it's just a lot. Now the district's grief counselors will be available today from 8 to 8 p.m. at the central office. They'll be also available tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Live in Borough County, Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News. Wow, incredibly powerful, Bo Beth, to hear about those exchanges between a mom and her daughter and thinking about the families that wish they could have gotten those texts as well. Thanks a lot. And we have been.